welcome to um, Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the psychic medium and sometimes comedian. You just never know what you're going to get. Okay. So, um, just a couple PSAs before we get started. Uh, my bangs are not looking appropriate. Most important PSA my hair is whatever. So, I'm going to fix that in a few seconds. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So um, if you'd like to call in and join the show, you can call in 845-277-9131. That is the call-in number for the show only. If you would like a private session, that is not the number you would call. That number is 414-897-2869. That's the business number. Um, the second thing, if you want to watch the show, if you want to join us live on YouTube and join in in the chat, <clears throat> you can do that every Monday and Wednesday at noon central. This show does air on WSCS um, and all of their streaming channels, Rude Rangers TV, all of their streaming channels, all the podcasts and... Uh, radio stations for both of those. So when you're asking your questions on air, please keep that in mind. Okay. Excellent. I want to thank everybody that is already in the chat. Um, Genevieve, uh, Mimi, Joy. Hey, Joy. How are you? Heather. How are you, Heather? How's your son doing? How's Colin doing? Fawn is here. I think there's other people that I met. Hey, Caroline, how are you? Gosh, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. Uh, Cindy's here today. I love it. Mo D is here. Hey, everybody. So I am going to start taking callers and go back and forth between callers and uh, people asking questions in the chat. So if you would like to ask a question, Please have a very exact question available. If you ask something like, just tell me what spirit wants me to know, you might not like the answer and it is predictive for the future. So it may not make sense to you. If you, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so I always ask that you have a very specific question about life, love, career, finances, whatever you want to ask. And again, that call in number is 845-277-9131. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, um, I ask that you give me the specific name of a loved one and their relationship to you. And if you have a question or you need closure or there's something you want to know from this loved one, ask that right away. Don't wait until after I've given you a message and say, oh, well, this is what I wanted to know. We don't double dip. Everybody gets one question or one connection because there are a lot of people waiting in the, the uh, call log and on the chat. If the message goes on, the message goes on. However, um, I like to try to do one question or one connection for everybody just to kind of keep it fair, okay? But I won't cut people in spirit off if they're talking, and I ask that you don't cut them off either, even if the message doesn't make sense. But if we can confirm the message, that's great. All righty. I'm going to get right to it. Uh, okay. Hey, Kim, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. Hey, Amy. Um, I'm going to go to the first caller who is <clears throat> who is 205. 205. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Patricia. I'm calling from um, Alabama. Thank you um, for taking my call. It's always a pleasure. Absolutely. Um, to, to receive messages from you. Excellent. What I would like to, um, I'd like to um, reach out to my father. His name is Willie. He's on the other side. And I'd like to ask him if he is going to um, 
intercedes in this situation with my brother and um, and my uncle and what's going on at the home now. Okay, so Patricia, some he's in place. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish up. He, um, he said um, he put in place um, when he passed. He he was the caretaker to to my uncle, uh, which is his brother, and so he he placed my twin brother in place for him in the wheel to replace him. And since then, it's just been so much conflict. Okay. When, um, when he moved, uh, with, when he moved a woman in the home, it sort of conflict with the family being able to take care of my uncle. So that that is a big confliction going on now. And I just want to know if he's going to intercede and help us to correct what's going on at the home now. Okay, so here's what I'm getting, love, and I hope this is helpful for you and anybody else that might be listening. Um, our loved ones on the other side cannot intercede from what I understand. If somebody understands something differently, I completely get it. Um, that's your understanding. The message I'm getting is our loved ones cannot step in and change the course of our lessons and what we're doing here. They can tell us things to help us change that course, but they cannot step in and intercede. However, your angels kin. So if you're wanting someone to help you or something, an angel is a someone or a something, um, help you to stop something that's going on, you have to call in angels, your angels, your uncle's angels, and your brother's angels. Now, if you're a person that believes in deities other than angels, call them in. Um, I don't care what we call them. I'm not stuck on titles and names. Just call in those beings that are in charge of this. Um, and I will say there... <sighs> Until you walk in everybody's shoes, don't try to tell them where to take their steps is the message I'm getting, okay? Whatever that means for your situation, and I know that might not be exactly what you're wanting to hear or know, but um, what I'm going to say next from your father is um, everything that's, I, and I know this isn't the, I know this is not what the message that people would want to hear, but in, again, until you walk in their shoes, don't, don't judge them or don't convict them. And put yourself in their shoes. If you were the 24-7, you would need maybe assistance is what I'm getting. Your, I just feel like the message your father is trying to give is your brother can't do this on his own. He pulled somebody in regardless of why he he did this. He did it. And um, instead of everybody being in turmoil about this, try to be peacemakers and see all sides of it. That's the message I'm getting. If I were in your shoes, I don't know how I would handle it because, you know, it's family and family is family and family has so many crazy dynamics in it. But what I'm telling you is this is the message you're getting. And it, I hope the message is helpful, but you can call in angels to help direct and bring peace to the situation. Okay, Patricia, I, that was like not at all where I expected that to go, but I do hope it was helpful for you. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day and um, I'm here when you need me. Thank you so much. You as well. Blessings, Tony. Thank Bless you so much. Blessings, love.
Um, yeah, those family dy dynamics can be very crazy. I did a uh, healing on TikTok this morning for um, healthy, happy, harmonious home. So maybe you want to play that for you and your brother and in your uncle's house. And um, and also, I'm going to do a clearing right now. Um, and 610, you're next. I just don't want to lose my place. And who's next? So 610 is next. And I'm going to um, do a clearing for... Um, uh, let's do two clearings right now. Uh, healthy, happy home. I get a no. Let's clear that. And then right on top of that, I'm going to do, we have forgiven ourselves. And I get a no. And we're going to clear that. And I'm going to say, you know, they always say you have to forgive people for what they've done. And I'm going to correct that. And I'm going to say we have to learn to forgive ourselves. Because it's on the outside or on the conscious mind, we might be blaming others, but in the subconscious mind and inside, we always blame ourselves first. And we blame ourselves for everything to, I shouldn't have responded like that. I shouldn't have um, lost my temper to, I shouldn't have walked down that street. This would have never happened if I did this. This would have never happened if I did that. I shouldn't have made that choice. I shouldn't have picked that person. I should, and we, we really have to forgive ourselves because, and we really need to know we have never done anything truly wrong in the way that people look at right and wrong. Everything is taking us closer to self-love. Okay. And that is the goal because when we can get in that space of complete and total self-love, that is when we truly evolve and then everything starts to open up for us. So if we can forgive ourselves, we will automatically have understanding for ourselves and then understanding for everybody else. And then uh, everything falls into place. And I'm really trying to say that very quickly and com compact it um, <clears throat> instead of making the whole hour show about that. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. If you would like to call in today and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is 845-277-9131. When I call your area code, please take me off of any sort of speaker phone or Bluetooth and um, and uh, let me know your name and where you're calling from. Here we go. 610, 610, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, uh, my name is Sonia. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. How are you? Good, Sonia. How are you today? Well, I'm recovering from a cold, so I apologize for my sexy voice. <laughs> <laughs> we all have the sexy voice going on right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, what can you say, right? It's tough when you gotta talk on the phone sometimes, you know, but it's better. It was a lot worse. I sounded like an android a few days ago, so that's oh. an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy you're doing better. How can I okay. help you, love? Um, yeah, I wanted to know, I wanted to see if you could connect from um, either one of my loved ones, maybe my mother, or um, Archangel Michael, or any guide. Let's go with your mom. To, I'm working. I'm working on a manifestation. It's something financial. I don't want to disclose too much, but it is something very big. And I wanted to see what you're picking up you know, as far as that. Okay. Thank you for, for explaining that. Okay. So um, it's coming. And but but here's the thing, it's not going to come the way this is the answer that I'm receiving for you. I hope it's helpful. Um, it's it, this manifestation is coming. It's not coming the way you think it's coming, and it's it might not come all at once, okay? So it might be split. Um, I just, the, the way I'm understanding it, and without saying too much, is it might be split. Like it's not going to be one, I'm going to give a for example, I know this isn't what you're, <clears throat> I know this isn't what you're saying. Let's just say you're trying to manifest $50,000. Okay, I know that's not it, don't, but it might come like 
10,000 here, 20,000 here, and, and like, you know, another 30,000 there. It might not come in a $50,000 package. It might come in different amounts at different times, but it's coming. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? And the other thing I'm hearing, and I'm going to say this for you and everybody, is if you are manifesting money at the end of that, always, always, always put, and nobody gets hurt. Always. And nobody gets hurt. <laughs> and I'm not going to go into why, but just nobody gets hurt. Um, so that is what I'm getting. And I am getting that some when some of this money comes in, a, uh, an amount of it, it might be bittersweet. Hmm, interesting. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? And sometimes I hear that bittersweet when it's an inheritance of somebody that we loved or it's coming in a way that we would not have chosen it to come in this way, but here it is anyway. Okay, we have no control over those things, but just enjoy it when it comes in. But it is coming in. Now, while this is coming in, put your mind on something completely different and get on with your life knowing this is coming. Um, if you focus in on it every day and have too closed of parameters, it might change the outcome. So they're asking you, you've already put it out there, let it go, let it come back to you, and you're going to be just fine. Okay, sweetie? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And I look forward to um, talking with you again. I am going to go to the very next caller, who is 267. 267. Um, 267, what's your name and where are you Hi. calling from? Hi. Jessica from Pennsylvania as well. Hey, Jessica. How can I help you today? So I wanted to see um, what you saw as far as, like, I was just, ex my application was just accepted for a house to rent. And I was wondering if you see me actually moving into this house as well as, like, how do you see me paying for the security and first month? Because I don't currently have it. Yeah. Uh, so I was immediately getting, no, this isn't the house. This isn't the right one. Um, there's another one coming, I hear, within a week and month. So it might be coming either within a week, you're going to find out about this other place, or from a week to a month, you're going to find out about this other place. But there's another place that's coming in that's going to be much more, fe much more feasible. Such good English I have. It's going to be more feasible for you. You're going to be able to pull everything together. Um, I do feel like you need to be, um, and this isn't me, please don't be offended by this. You need to be very practical in your next steps. You need to be extremely practical with um, what you're choosing and how you're choosing it. You can't, and they're using the statement, you can't get behind to get ahead. So just whatever that means for you, please go ahead and go with that. Um, so I, I know that might not be the answer that you are looking for, but it is definitely the answer that you need. So please keep looking. Something is go something brand new is about to pop up that you're, you're going to be able to... Um, to 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 be able to handle okay it's it's going to be something you you are definitely able to handle okay love yeah you're confirming yeah you're confirming the same things that i was feeling but i like my realtor has been helping me for so long and like this one's the first one came through so i feel like i have to just make the steps forward i'm not moving in anyway uh you know for a couple of weeks so that's what I keep thinking too. Like it's something else is coming that's going to be cheaper too. So I, you're saying the exact same thing. It yeah. is. And I'm either, thank you for saying you're working. I do feel like it might even, the thing that's coming in, you might find that on your own or through a friend of a friend. Um, you might hear 
hear about this other place that's less expensive, you might hear about it from somebody or you might find it on your own somehow. So be open to looking on your own also, okay? Because... Okay, thank you. You are so welcome, love. Yeah. I hope that this is helpful for you. And um, again, don't put yourself behind to try to get ahead, okay? I know. That's what I'm trying. That's very, I'm very focused on the practical. So you were right on with everything. Yes. Thank you. You are so welcome. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And I am going to go to 814. <clears throat> 814, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. I, I, have the, I have the East Coast on today. Hi, hi Amy. How are you? I love yes. that, by the way. I love it. Hi. Hi. How can I help you, love? My question is, I started a new job, and it's working from home, and there was notice that, and I, I live like over two hours away from the headquarters office. And there was notice that the very high people have are getting called back in the office to work. And my question is, do you see me getting called back and and them getting rid of my telework agreement working from home? Okay, I'm hearing eventually they they okay, so there will be a choice and eventually they are going to probably want to move towards that, okay? Um, I don't feel like they're going to do it immediately, but I do feel like eventually they are going to try to do that. I do feel like they are going to make some exceptions for some people. Um, and it might not be, you know, oh, you have to be here every day. Um, they might work people back in slowly, but eventually they are going to want to, um, I'm just hearing the statement, fill the seats again, okay? So um, I don't think you have anything to worry about immediately. And if you have an agreement right now, I think that they might let that agreement play out. And then at the end of that agreement, they might try to renegotiate. They're not going to bring every single person back in. They will make some exceptions, but there will be times when you personally do have to go in, uh, maybe for meetings. Okay, or like, now there is a local office. Mm -hmm. Could it be possible that I, they would have me report to the local office, which is like 15 minutes away, It's which that I don't have an issue with. It's possible. And again, um, yeah, I'm just going to, you know, say this again. Um, eventually, they may want you to check in, whether it's once once a month, once a week, whatever it is. But again, if it's at the local office, great. Um, but until I feel like until the end of your agreement, things might stay kind of the way they are. And then they might renegotiate. And it'll be up to you at that point to put in there, I'll go to the local office or I'll do that. Remember, a negotiation is just that. The, we can put our things on the table at any negotiation. If they say we need an office, say, well, here's an office I can do here. Um, that's basically, you know, really the art of negotiating is being able to present what you want also. So don't be afraid to say, okay, if you want me in, I can do one day a week or I can do the local, whatever it is. But eventually, they're not going to be doing this anytime soon. I think they're they're slowly amping up. They're slowly going to start reestablishing and filling seats. They're not trying to do it all within a month. They're not even going to try to have this done by summertime. Um, maybe by fall, there will be more changes, but I feel like <clears throat> as of right now, 
everything they're doing, they're going to be doing it in a um, in a much uh, uh, um, slower pace. They're slowly bringing people back in. Okay, love. Okay, because I don't think they have room for everybody. They don't. Well, and like I said, until the end of your agreement, you're probably okay. And then um, <clears throat> after that, you can re you can negotiate whatever terms it would be that you would want. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller, who is 262. 262, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Amy. Hey, Amy, how are you today? Pretty good. How are you? I am excellent. How can I help you, love? <laughs> um, I have lots of questions always, but the one that's burning is um, I dropped off my daughter for treatment, like a longer term or intermediate term treatment at Rogers. And I guess I want to ask how that's going to go or if this is going to be a good step towards recovery. Uh, uh, yes and no. Some things will be resolved, but other things will be left un, unopened or undiscussed or un... like not, um, not taken care of. They're only looking at box A, not box B and C. So what I'm getting is she needs a more all-encompassing form of treatment. Um, something that, you know, here's the issue. And, and I, I, I know this is a private thing, so I'm trying not to say too much. Um, here's the issue. They're looking at what's on the surface. And she's talking about what's on the surface, but they're not digging deeper into what caused what's on the surface. Okay. So uh -huh. in order for treatment to get any place, the, she has to be there either A, long enough for them to dig that deep, or B, she has to start really purging some of the surface stuff and get deeper down. And that is what I'm getting. I feel like it will be somewhat helpful, but it's not going to get to the core issue of what's going on and what needs to be done for that. Okay? Right. It's pretty long. Yeah, it is. It, and that it's is eight the, weeks, but and, I feel like it might be 12. You know what? Even in that eight week time, when you're looking at whatever the lifespan is, eight weeks, twice a week is only 16 sessions. And there's that whole opening up mm -hmm. and getting past the surface thing in any session for anybody. So I'm just going to say again, I feel like this is going to be what does she want to share? Not we're going to try to really dig in deep and get to the bottom of this. And they can't unless the person is willing to put that out there. Okay, love. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Have an amazing rest of the day.